Hello everyone, how are you? I'm here with sweet little baby Toby today because he is back from his artist. He went to go visit his artist for some repairs. He came to me with a few um, issues and I didn't want to send him back right away because um, <laughs> I fell in love with him and uh, when I was ready she allowed me to send him back and uh, fix him up for me. So uh, he has been off getting his uh, repairs. He feels lovely again. He doesn't have a big gash in his mouth or anything anymore. He's all fixed up. All the little areas where he had some flaws are gone and he's beautiful and back home. I was considering selling this sweet boy, but I think I'm going to give it a few days, maybe a week or so before I make the decision because now that he's all back from his artist, he's in perfect condition, uh, would be a great time to sell him, but I really do like him and I still want to enjoy him, I think. And, um, even though I don't get to enjoy him as frequently as maybe my others, um, I still do enjoy him. So... I'm going to change him today, and uh, I just opened his box. I haven't had uh, fully time to look over him, but um, yeah, he's looking gorgeous. <laughs> I'm going to put him back in his cloth diaper that I love, his little Joey cloth. Actually, I might keep this one on because it is in such great shape. I might wait till it gets worn down, you know? <laughs> Um, I might not put the little Joey, but I have this little outfit, you know, the shorts and the crocodiles that I want to see him on. Oh my goodness. Look at this tank. It swallows him. It's as long as he is. <laughs> it might not even work for him, but we'll see. We'll see how it is. Sometimes when you put an outfit on, it looks different on the baby. You know what I mean? Looks different. But... He is so cute. Oh, his diaper's trying to come out. Uh, and he's all new now from his artist. And he's looking gorgeous. He's got some more blushing, too, while he was there. Oh, sweet guy. Sweet little guy. Oh, look at his back. Look at his back. It looks all lovely. He's got a lovely little spine. Back details. She updated his Montelain, I can see. He looks gorgeous. He is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All the feelings are flooding back, I tell you, when I first opened him. So there's his, little, his big outfit on. Not even a little outfit. It's a little big, but that's okay. What do we think? Is it too big? Does he look ridiculous? Or do you think it's just right here? Let me move you down a little bit. He is so cute. He's got little crocodiles swimming. They've got... One's in like a little floaty ring, and one's got floaties on his arms. What do people call these else places? I know this is, these are called floaties, and this is called like a tube, a pool ring. He's got a little sunshine, and then he's got tie-dyed light blue pants, but they kind of look like water, I think. And he looks lovely. Oh, he's a lovely, lovely, lovely boy. Oh, I'm glad to have him back home. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can part with him. He's just so beautiful. It's just hard to justify um, maybe an expensive doll like this in my collection when I don't do a whole lot with him. 
I think, oh, maybe the money would be better somewhere else, you know, maybe in kits that I can paint or something like that. But I do enjoy him when I'm with him. And uh, for that reason, I might just keep him. But keep a lookout. He might be available too. So I don't know. I haven't made the decision fully. He is such a sweet little guy. It's just trying to justify an expensive doll in my collection that uh, I don't do much with. You know what I mean? So, his mouth is all repaired and looking lovely. Oh, he is gorgeous. He's so cute. Love him. Alright, that's kind of it for me today. I'm kind of in a funky mood. I'm getting ready to finish a doll, but on Monday, my kitten Gabriel passed away. And I've taken it kind of hard. You know, to some people, they're just animals. But um, to me, they're my kids. I don't have kids. And I'm with them every day, every single day, most of the day. And I tried so hard to save him. But he was such a sickly little kitten. And I had him for a year and a half. He had double plastic eye surgery and treatments and medicine and... It just seemed like once we got over one thing, he, he got another thing. And this last one made him really, really sick. Last infection. And uh, he passed away. And uh, I'm heartbroken. I miss him so bad. It just comes in waves throughout the day. So I just keep thinking... He's going to come around the corner and look at me or come and get in my lap. And it's hard processing it. Especially since it was just so unfair. I wanted him to have such a good, long, happy life. I poured a lot of money into vet bills and thinking that if I just got this surgery, if I just did this treatment, he would be well. But he was uh, inbred and had, um, he had FIV, which is a uh, form of HIV in kittens. And it attacks their immune system, so they get sick frequently. And uh, it's very hard for him, like, to get over things and stuff. And with him, On top of that, with him being, with him having the rare eye deformity, and I don't know if he had you know, deformities in his nasal passages or not. We didn't explore all that with the vet. But, um, yeah, he passed away. Planted him out in my garden and in the backyard, and I can't even walk back there. I haven't even gone back there yet because it's just all really hard. House is a lot quieter without him here. Anyway, sorry for kind of the somber, sad ending of the video, but that's just what's going on in my life. I've got a deep ache and a deep pain. A lot of questions, a lot of doubts. Did I, did I do everything for him right, or was there something else I could have done? Or I don't know. You know, he's not suffering anymore. No more treatments and no more medicine. I believe we see them when we, when we depart earth. They're there with us in heaven. I think our pets are. I'm not sure. I don't, I haven't read it in the Bible or anything, but I just have a feeling that I'll see him again. And, uh. Maybe Jesus is taking care of him and he's well and happy. But it's just hard. That's where I'm at, friends. That's where I'm at. That's why I haven't come on. 
It's just a deep sadness in my heart over him. Today's a little easier. I can hold back the tears a little better today, but the last two days have been on and off weeping. Can't tell you how much I miss him. It's terrible. It's terrible. He was a wonderful little boy. He really was. And he fought hard on earth and didn't always have the easiest time with all his illnesses, but uh, I tried. And I loved him hard. I loved him really good, so I have a piece about that. He, he passed knowing nothing but love. Anyway, that's what's going on in life. And so that's why I'm not, no, I'm, I'm not in a place where I could officially say Toby will be for sale or not. Because I'm too emotional and not in the right frame of mind, I don't think. I do have Genty for sale, my one-fourth limb silicone. I've been wanting to sell her for a while, and I, I would like to sell her now uh, to put those finances maybe towards uh, some doll kits, savings, you know, uh, move her off the shelf. It's time for her to go get loved from someone else. I've got lots of dolls to take care of, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I want to completely get silicone out of my collection or if I enjoy it I just don't know a whole lot right at this moment it's just been a hard week it's been very busy and the death of Gabe and he feels so wonderful though he does his skin is so silky he feels so wonderful right now such a comfort I needed Anyway, I can't thank his artist enough. His artist is wonderful. Um, she's got great communication. She will repair your doll at any time. Um, she does repairs on your dolls. Say, you had your Kimberly doll for a while and it's gotten some love and wear to it. You can send it back and have it repaired. Of course, for a fee, you know. Um... If it's her mistake, she she corrects her mistakes, rights her wrongs, you know what I mean? She's just a good businesswoman. I really appreciate her, and she sculpts all her own sculpts and pours them and paints them and everything. And so I think she's got a lot of integrity. Um, I can't thank her enough for helping me with Toby and helping me uh, fix him up and everything and um, yeah. All right, I'm going to get off of here now. I'm just, yeah, I don't know what to say anymore. Sorry for the depressing ending. That's why I haven't come on, because I don't want to sadden everybody else with the news, you know. It's bad enough me being sad. All right, I'm going to get off of here. God bless you all. Bye-bye.